Ooh, I see a satellite moving in the in the sky. That's a satellite. Seen with your Aurora Pro and 50 millimeter night owl or dark invader lens. Nice. There it goes, about to use the edge of the screen. And it's gone. So this is my 50 millimeter dark invader lens on the modified Aurora Pro. And I want you to see how easy it is to look at stars. Ooh. That looks like a satellite right there. There's something moving. Satellite. But yeah, it's so easy to see stars with this lens. It's really good. I really like this lens a lot. It's a 1.3 f-stop, 50 millimeter, and it seems to let in a pretty good amount of IR light. satellite traversing the sky right here Now this is the Aurora Pro lens. Yeah, I just I think the Envis lens is better than this. And my Schneider lens is better than this. I mean it's okay, but I feel like I through the Envis lens I feel like I just see way more stars. Here's an interesting thing, so Aurora Pro lens with this red filter. Oh, that's weird. Let's see, does it cut out IR? No, it lets IR through. 1064 goes through. Hmm. This was some weird filter that was. Whoa, I think that's like a low pass filter. I definitely see more stars. And a little bit of the Milky Way. Whoa, I can see, whoa, yeah, Milky Way. Through the Aurora Pro lens, but watch. Uh, yeah, you can sort of see a little bit of that cloudiness. But this makes a big difference. Okay, now we're back on the Envis lens, and I have this filter. It's like a weird red filter. Let's see, how's this going? There we go, it's like perfect fit. Uh, makes everything like red, basically. Definitely see more stars. I can definitely see the Milky Way a lot better now. A lot of lens flare. So let me try to take this off. There we go. I mean, you can sort of see the Milky Way, but it's definitely not the same without this filter. This filter makes a huge difference. At least 
to me it does. Look at that. Milky Way. No filter. Filter. Alright, back with the Schneider lens, and this time we're going to use my little lens filter to see Is it really just a red filter? I don't know. Milky Way. Through the red filter. And then without it, yeah, you really can barely see that at all. And you can sort of see. Okay, so you can sort of see the Milky Way right here. Let's throw this filter in front. Mm. I don't know. It doesn't make it that much better. It doesn't really seem to help that much to me. Yeah, not really. It's also a really small aperture, so that's a lot of noise is being jacked up a little bit, I think. It's like a reducing amount of light coming in. So this is another Schneider lens that I have that has a weird filter on it. Like, you see those lights? They're kind of like reddish. It makes reds really pop. Now if you see the sky is a little more blue, ooh, it's definitely like reducing a lot of light coming in. And then this filter, oof, that's pretty bad. Yeah, that's not, that's not great. Makes everything red. Wow, that's so weird. Makes everything red. So there's something going on with this lens and whatever filter it has. Is it blocking, is it blocking infrared light? It's an infrared blocker. Yeah, it's blocking infrared light. Because that thing has an infrared, this is an infrared blocking... Okay. Right? Well, no. That's infrared. Well, it's clearly blocking some infrared out of this thing. Back again with the Envis lens on the Full Spectrum Aurora Pro. Man, look at those stars. It's so much better than the Aurora Pro lens. Well, what I have here is a LIF filter. So we'll pop it on. Mm, not as good as that red filter that I had. Yeah, because it's only blocking like a certain wavelength of green. Yeah. See that? It's blocking out all the colors of green. But it doesn't work as good as that one red filter that I have. Let's go back to that weird red filter that came out of the... Uh, what, is thing, what does this thing come out of? It came out of a... Northrop Grumman Mark 7. It's definitely blocking green to a certain degree, but it seems to be doing a way better job of blocking out green. Then the LIF filter. Another test of the Envis lens. This time we have the Milspec Avocal Magnifier. There we go. Oh look! I can see another satellite traversing the sky. That thing is tiny. Really good light transmission. I still see plenty of stars. Man, I want to go to a, a dark zone with this.
stars. Ooh, wow, look at the Milky Way. That's so cool. All with an Aurora Pro modified. And a 3XA focal lens. Oh, another satellite. It's really easy to see satellites with this thing. <laughs>